Hi, this is Jennifer with City Farmhouse Antiques, and I'm here as I am every Friday with the Find of the Week. And all of our Find of the Weeks can be found on our website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com. But I want to talk to you a little bit today about crystal, in particular Waterford crystal. And I want to talk to you about how you know it's the real thing and uh, how you can evaluate you know, the value of a piece of crystal. And a lot of these characteristics apply to many types of art glass. But as you can see with this piece, it is very, very detailed. And that's the first thing you want to look at. It's a large piece. It's about 12 inches tall. And it has a lot of characteristics and a lot of detail. Starting with this exquisite rim. And this is known as a sawtooth edged rim. Many times when you see a sawtooth rim, it's going to be the same depth. It's going to be one depth. This happens to be multi-dimensional, which is not as common. And you can see the facets and um, the varying degrees of depth to that, which, which add a lot of character. You can see that every inch of this piece of glass has beautiful facets and a different pattern. Here we have a diamond pattern. Then you come down, there's a, a, a repeat of the pattern. And even on the foot here, it's difficult to show you some of this because it's clear glass, but there you can even see the different pattern on the foot. And sometimes with crystal, really all the time, it's very, very difficult to be able to see signatures. You're going to have pieces where, I've got another piece here I wanna show you that also happens to be by the master cutter, Jim O'Leary. Um, but here is a typical, you can see, there's a typical water, uh, I'm sorry, not water, but an acid etched Waterford mark that's on the bottom. But this piece actually, actually both of these pieces are signed. They were made by the master cutter, Jim O'Leary. And Jim O'Leary happens to do exquisite work. Um, very, very intricately cut and detailed pieces. And there you can kind of make out the signature there. And you can see, I don't know that you can see that, but the date is um, 1996. If you can make that out, that's a little better. Um, I'll show you on this other piece. It'll be easier to see it's on the side. Most of the signatures you can see on this piece. It's on the side. You can see Jim O'Leary's signature there in 1996. Um, the other thing that makes this piece exquisite is this is an, a limited edition piece. And when you look at the bottom of a piece, many times they're going to be signed. They'll have that Waterford acid etched mark or they will have one better, and you can see that it's numbered. There you can see that it's numbered. Again, it's so hard to show this because it's a clear piece of glass. There you can see that it says Waterford, and there you can see where it's numbered, 18 of 25. A lot of his pieces were made in sets of 50. This one, there were only 25 made. So that gives you an idea of the value of a piece. When you are looking at crystal, there are different factors with crystal. Everybody talks about the ring. Well, there's lead in crystal, and lead makes crystal extremely clear. You're going to have a lot more clarity, as you can see with these two pieces, and brilliance with a piece of crystal than, let's say, one of my wine glasses. And please don't look at my hard water spots. But there you can see that the, it just doesn't have the ref, light reflection that a piece of crystal does. And this is under the same light for you to see them. At a distance, it's easier. But you can see that they it's not as clear. The other thing is the sound. Lead is going to give a distinct ring. You hear that? Versus kind of a flat tone on a piece of regular glass. So a piece of regular glass almost looks opaque and cloudy next to a true piece of crystal. Another factor is the weight. Because of the lead, crystal is going to be extremely heavy. These pieces are very heavy. In fact, when I ship pieces, you've got to be sure and double box them because they will go to the bottom 
of a box because they're so heavy with the weight they'll migrate down through inches of packing peanuts. So because of the weight of a fancy piece of glass, Murano glass is the same way, um, you've got to take extra care when shipping or moving these items. Waterford Crystal was actually um, produced, started production back in the late 1700s, 1783, um, off the port of Waterford in Ireland. And, you know, a lot of these pieces, you can buy glass, you know, to use and vases and things like that, but some pieces are made to last a lifetime. And these are those pieces. And with May being here and June with weddings and anniversaries, these are the types of pieces that last a lifetime and even after a lifetime and are handed down from generation to generation. So they make exquisite wedding gifts. They make exquisite anniversary gifts. Um and pieces that can be handed down, as well as pieces that can be enjoyed, you know, in the home, on a beautiful table. Um, this is another example of another pattern, um, an older pattern. Of course, it's not as fancy. It's not hand signed. You can see that it doesn't have the detail that these other two pieces have um, that have been hand cut and signed. Well, that is all I have about Waterford Crystal. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope when you pick up a piece of crystal, you have a better appreciation for it and more knowledge now on how to identify a real piece and where you can find those Waterford marks. Until next time, check us out on the website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com where we sell more and have more than just antiques.